Gotcha. Okay. Welcome to Grade 3 Braille, and we are on Episode 17, which is Lower Signs and Their Spacing. So we're going to get into a little bit of sequencing. And Nancy has graciously offered to do this one. But first, before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone that we are on YouTube. So if you've missed a couple lessons or you're feeling like you're lost a little bit, go onto YouTube and type in grade number three Braille and you'll see our channel. And if you click on those lessons, if you know you missed last week, so it would have been lesson 16, you can kind of figure out from there but you will find all of our recordings. <clears throat> and we have, what I had advertised that grade3braille.com website, but it appears to be no more. <laughs> so That's too bad. I will, quit, I will quit advertising that thing. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just gonna pull it up real quick here just to confirm. But as of a couple days ago, Nope, the site can't be reached. <laughs> oh, well, that's so sad. Yes, but so sad. I do have BRFs, and there's the Rodenberg book, and there's the Hayden. So if anyone needs Catherine Thomas's info to get that, feel free to email me at braille, all spelled out, mailbox <laughs> at gmail.com, and I'll get you in touch with Catherine Thomas. And she can give you one or both of those books for a very reasonable price. But with that, I will let Nancy take over and start into lower signs. All right. Thank you, Kristen. And we have the lesson. Okay. Yeah. Actually, the, uh, the episodes and the lessons are finally on the same number. I don't know how we finally did that, but we actually are 17 is the week we're on. So linking lower signs and spacing rules of uh, um, linking lower signs that's what these are called here are the lower signs you have known some of these since you began to read and write braille other signs in the following list are new to you note that all of these signs stand for various forms of the verb to be except for the sign the lower h which is stands for his okay so you might want to put the, the way they have these written is with a full cell on either side so that you can tell exactly where the dot position is. But however you want to write this, the dot one, or excuse me, dot two, rather, these are all lower signs. So dot two stands for am, A-M. Okay, and that's one of the, the to be verbs. And then the next one, dots two, three, of course, stands for B, B-E. Dots two, five stand for is, I-S. Is this real? Dots two, five, six, the lower D, stands for R, A-R-E. Are you coming? The lower F, which is dots two, three, five, stand for Ben. He has been here all along, B-E-E-N. And then, of course, the lower G, we know from grade two, is were. Were you paying attention? And, of course, the lower H, that's two, three, six. We have the word his. And the last one, the lower J, is of course dots three, five, six. The word was. We're used to that. Okay, now we're going to get into the spacing rules, but I want to make sure that everybody got those signs down first. Am is dot two. B dots two, three. Is. That's two five. R. That's two five six. Ben. That's two three five. Were. That's two three five six. His. That's two three six. And was. That's three five six. 
Okay, in all ordinary circumstances, the lower linking signs may join the word which precedes and follows them without an interve intervening space. And the first part of this rule is, okay, a group of words be uh, between which spaces have been omitted are called sequences. So in other words, in grade two, and for the and for the convenience, so the and for the all spaced together would be known as a sequence. In most circumstances, lower linking signs may not begin or end a word sequence. They may be employed, however, when preceded or followed by a punctuation mark. Okay, and they have examples here. I am the man. And how they have this written is the letter I, no space, dot two, no space, the T-H-E sign, no space, M-N, I am the man. Okay, the space is omitted before and after the sign for am. Okay, um, he is to dis. Okay, he is to dispense. The next one, the space is omitted before and after the sign for is. So, H E dots two five. Okay, okay so H E lower C, lower F, lower D. The letter P is in Paul. The N sign and S E sign. That's all written as one sequence. He is to dispense. Wow. Yeah, this is where spacing gets really, this is where the spacing rules start to get a little more intense. So, uh, he is to dispense. Um, the next one, is he going? Now, here they have the two five for the is, a space, the word he, H-E, a space, and the word going with a question mark after it. Now, the reason you can't space, okay, the space after the sign for is must be retained because is is at the beginning of a word sequence. So remember the rule said, the rule said that you can't have a space, um, the music coming from interesting okay so you can't have a space you can't put you you can't um sp not yeah hmm, blah. You, you can't, can't put them together you can't put a space there if you can't put them together if it's at the beginning of a sequence correct yes okay so okay. he showed me um okay he showed me who she was period now again they, they have the word he space the word showed space the one cell sign for the word me space me. who space she and then the word was she. without any space and then the period without any space so she was period he showed me who she was. The space is omitted after the sign for was because that sign is in contact with a mark of punctuation, the period. Okay. So, and, and the other part of, it says all of the rules that you have learned thus far in grade three, this rule should not be applied if there would be any confusion in the recognition um, in, in the recognition of word sequences. Remember that our objective is instant clarity. So that basically is the lesson with the rules and the, and the, um, the signs. Does anybody have any questions before we go on to the exercises? 
Yes. Okay. Mary, you can unmute. No, Mary. Hello, Nancy hey. and Lucy. Um, in that sentence, he showed me who she was. Um, so they don't have, is she also up against was? Do you put it, is there yes, a space the, between she and was? No, that's what they're trying to say. You don't have to space. Okay, was is at the end of a word sequence. So normally mm -hmm. you can't have a space. You have to space on either side of it. But since it has a punctuation mark next to it, the rule is you can use it. You can not have to space there. So she, okay. no space, was, was, no space, period. Period. Okay, I got it. Right. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Wow. Okay, anybody else? Um, no. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I lied. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, Area code 720, you, you can unmute. All right. Hi there. Yep. There you go. Yes. Um, I noticed, I, I thought you said the word Ben was 235. Two, is that right? Yes. It's the lower, it's the lower F. Can you use that along with the two contraction or do, do, can you well, not do that? You would have different rules um, governing it and you wouldn't, I don't think you'd ever have the word Ben and the word two right next to each other. So um, the word two is, it's going to be obvious that it's not the word Ben. Um, well, like, I mean, if you say I have been to. Yeah, I just thought of that. I've been. So, um, ooh, Le um, I'd have to look in the, in the in the next rules to see if um, let's see. So you got that, and okay, I'm just seeing if okay that gives that there. I'm just looking for a second to see if there is anything else. Um, any in any let's see come in where's a and have okay i'm just looking to make sure there's not a rule that i'm missing here and i don't think so so i would think that you could use that i have been to the store and back um i have been to the store and then the space after store and bck and back that would i i would think you could write it like that okay bob audrey Kristen, do you guys Kristen's you guys not think? here oh i mean uh, okay bob and audrey <laughs> do you guys um, have any comments on that All right. Um, that's okay. I just, I just was curious to see, but I think you could, I could, I think you could, you could write it like that. Okay. Chanel, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Chanel. So the, you said there was a contraction for the word me in that sentence. He showed me who she Right. Was. Remember the them on what me, those, those words from a couple of lessons ago, I think it was. Oh shoot! But, that must have been a lesson I missed. Okay, sorry. No, that's fine. Um, they they are. I'll go back and look. No, they're very they're very uh, they're very easy. There's like eight of them, besides. Okay. But yeah, the, it, it's the AR sign. The three, four, five. Oh, okay. Um, is is the word meet? But you, yeah, you do want to go back and and get those because those are going to be. I mean, you you need them. They're part of your uh, material that you'll need to <laughs> start writing things with. So yeah. Oh. I'm Nancy. Yeah. Nancy? Yes. Oh, um, excuse me, it's Audrey. I couldn't unmute. Yeah. Sorry. I think no, that fine. sentence makes sense. I'm just writing it out myself. I have been because I was thinking the same thing. How would when would you use that? But I can see it. I have been to the 
that goes together, store. right? Right. Store. And then the word store next to it. I mean, you don't put a space between right. bed and store. And then, and we would make a space then, right? And back. It were, and, right. You space between store and and. And, and then back, between but, and, and and back, there wouldn't be. Yeah. But that two and bin, that is really, I never thought of that. But that's, I'm just looking I have at it. Seen, I yep. have seen two and, uh, when the, when you're using a verb to be, and the next word is either to or by, you can use to drop uh, letters for those symbols. Because in context, it can only mean one thing. It can only either mean mm -hmm. to or by, because you had your, your verb to be before that. But right. when you're reading it, if you said, I have, and before, you'd have to keep reading, because if you saw the first low F, wouldn't you think of two right away? No, or no, no, not no, necessarily. The reason, well, the reason why not, a, no, because you have a low, you have a drop sign following it, and we know from our, we you either have a, a drop J or a drop F following it, and so from the experience using grade three braille, when you see that, you know that the first drop sign is a verb to be, and the uh -huh. second drop sign is either to or by. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you have a couple more hands. All right. Jeanette? Okay. I know I'm going to have to re-listen to this message, but I'm back at he is to dispense. Okay. So for the he, it would be one of the lower signs. He? And for the no, H-E. The word H-E is just oh, his. I thought somebody just sign. said. No, his is a lower he, sign. Okay, then, and then, then the is is the lower C. Correct. And then the two, and then dispense, D-I-S-P-E-N, and whatever the sign is for S-E, which S -E. right now I can't remember. One, five, six. One, five, right. six. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, so P-E-N, and then the one, five, six. Right. That would be a, an entire sequence of um, cells that would be called a sequence. He is to dispense that whole sentence right there, or that whole then, that whole phrase. Yep. He actually is, is he going? Okay, I I got that. I, I, I hate going. to say this. I, I know I'm flying, throwing a fly into the ointment. You usually do. <laughs> but I just just to give you a little, it's going to get a little crazier because the word he, there's a there's a contraction for that, and it happens yes. to be it happens to be dot four low h. Now, uh, yeah, um, mm -hmm. and now we have another lower case dropped here. Although we could we could spell it out and still be obeying the rules of grade two braille because I mean a grade three braille because uh, we're, we're still using two cells and it's a little more clear. It doesn't, you know, yeah, I, but it, it, it doesn't ever get confusing. I mean, I've used the word he all the time with the two cell contraction and, and never gets confusing what it is. Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna have here is dot four, drop H, middle C, drop F, low D, <laughs> all together. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the only thing that changes. That's so, the only thing that changes, yeah. On, on is he going also I wanted to ask you about that but that was, I was going to ask you later because I didn't okay. want to throw that same fly in the ointment Bob with the dot four H but that's how I write he is the dot four H so if I do is he going do I do is with no space and then he and going no, no. because is he going is is at the beginning of a sequence remember we can't yes, have a lower okay. sign with you can't you can't leave out spaces but if you want to really throw a fly in the ointment you're gonna you're gonna go is space Two cell contraction for he, the two cell yeah. contraction for going, and they're not going to have a space between the two of them. Right. And then okay. you're going to have a question that. mark. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So thank, thank um, you. you. You're welcome. Um, Whoa. Got on the wave a little bit. What, what did you say? <laughs> Lucy? Uh oh. Oh, her internet's going to bug her out again. Uh-oh. Lucy? Oh, son of a biscuit. Okay. Sounds like her internet is going to go. Um, but, okay. 
if she comes, if she gets back, I can see if there's any more hands. Um, but the way that they do, oh shoot, yeah, her internet knocked her out, which means that one of you guys is probably the host. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's not me either. Um, is it, can we okay. ask, I want to say students, can we ask people to, uh, can we drop the raise hand thing for the moment and just, and, and go I guess we're going to have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're but the, have to. the host may have to unmute them, you know, ask them to unmute. I'm not here. If they, oh, oh, oh she's oh, back. Yay, yeah, you're Phew. back. Lucy. Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, good. No, stuff happens, I know. You were, we were you trying were trying to, to say something problem. to me and the yeah you were trying to say something to me and the <laughs> your 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 internet was. yeah I know <laughs> um are there any other hands that we have Bob you just got made the host again can you make me the host please oh I know I was host excuse me <laughs> okay I'll, I'll do, I'll do. voiceover did not tell me I was the host okay yep I'll do it. yeah. No, it, it's let me hope I gotta locate you and we'll take a minute. And you got a lot of Lucy hands. Edmund. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Make co from eight make co host. Which one? Oh host. Unless you want yeah, I don't no. know. I don't care. Okay. Okay. You got it. All right. Okay, Kathy. Right. <laughs> Kathy. Hey, um, okay, I was having some phone trouble myself there for a minute, so if I've asked, if I'm about to ask a question, just tell me it's already been asked, and, and <laughs> but, um, so, um, oh, now I've lost it, oh, uh, let's say, for example, the sentence, I have been to Hollywood, so okay. can the two, three, five be put in place twice together without spacing yes for ben two yes okay and that h before it would you have to space there or would you put it you mean um after holiday have i mean no oh, have. have i have no because you you you, you i ha remember have can follow any word that it, it comes against without a space so you can write i have oh. been to hollywood all without spaces okay that whole thank sentence you. would be you're welcome yeah all right yeah. thanks i hope wow. i didn't make you repeat anything oh Anyways. no well i mean it was it was a concept we were kind of discussing but yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a different sentence to use so that that works that's fine okay thank you yeah. very much you're welcome all right uh area code oh it's shirley hi shirley hey shirley <laughs> Hi. Oh, goodness. I'm telling you what oh. I get myself into. <laughs> oh. I'm kind of um, lost, but more than that, I um, missed a couple, I think, of the beginning signs you, you gave. I got am, are, be, then, and I know there was, um, I know the ones that, of course, were, were from grade two. Um, right type signs like his and and was but i think there was at least one more that i missed there okay the so beginning. we have am and then b because right. i'm just going straight down the one two three four five six, you know just right so am is lower is the dot two b is dots two three of course is right is dots two five so the word ah, is now that one i didn't get just a minute um is so Five. Okay. So, and then, of course, the lower D uh, is the word R, A R E. I got that one. Yeah, I did. Okay. Then the, of course, okay. the lower, um, the lower F is the word Ben, B E E N. Oh, I don't think I got that one either. And ben. that's a word. In. And were his and was you already know about from grade two so right yep so that's okay, thank you very much you're welcome all right area code 816 ending in 730 thank you uh i'd like to ask i was under the impression that you were supposed to leave a space 
before prefix? Is that not the case? A prefix? It, what uh, kind of prefix do you mean? Then? I, I'm sorry. It, we, what, what kind of prefix are you talking about? Like this in dispense? Oh, see, it depends on. See, that depends on the, the um, on what you're spacing. There are certain things where yes, you are supposed to space before um before this or con or be uh, this or con or but the thing is in in the lower linking signs that's what they're trying to tell you you don't have to space because those um they're 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 clear what they are without the space there so in this instance you that that is not correct in this instance you do not have to space before the word to or this. Okay, well, I was reading in one of the books um, and it said that you should always space before a prefix and it was yes. a grade three book. That's okay. why I was in, messed up. In some, yeah, in some instances you will always space before a prefix, but in the linking lower signs, that's not, you don't necessarily have to space it because they link, they link words together. That's why they're called linking. Because you can put them together without a space. They link those those words together. Uh, can I ask you the, the, I forget the caller question? Um, sure. Do you remember which Rothenberg book it, and um, which book it was, and on what page? Because sometimes these books actually do disagree, and it would be uh, for, good for us to follow up on this. I don't remember which page it was. It was uh, one of the first rules on linking, but I think it was, uh, hang on just a second, I'm getting my book. Was it the Hayden or the, or the uh, Rothenberg? Is it, the Rothenberg? is it the key to or the guide, the guide to? I'm the getting email. my book. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, while while you're doing this, uh, we really, last week I, I invest. I forgot what the what the uh, question was, but I, I I followed it up afterward in, in one of the books and realized that you know they came they they came up with an answer which Nancy and I at first disagreed with. So anyway, oh, are you talking about the record? Oh, the yeah, record, right, okay. record. Uh, yeah, uh, you sent me that in an email. Yeah, 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 exactly. So did you hear me? No. Yeah, yes. key to grade three. Oh. She said key to grade three. Okay. So that's the the larger one. Okay, we'll follow up on it. We'll, we'll be interested. But remember that sometimes, for example, the prefix rule may say, don't put anything before me, really. But the uh, the the lowercase to be rule might say, oh, I can join anything before and after. And so that's why uh, you can, you know, you can do that. So, um I All right. Great, oh. I have a great. I have a. I have an interesting sentence to put together. If anybody would like to try, how about no with no punctuation to be or not to be? That is the question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow. Or not. Oh. To be. Oh, Willie would be happy here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, my word. <laughs> that's that's cool. That's I like that. Some, that's got some interesting um, things because, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, who else do we have? Jeanette. Okay, so I have. Oh wait a minute. Um, I have been to the store and back. Yeah, that was Are the you... sentence I made up. Yeah. But... Right. Are you saying that the I could write that with no spaces. Yeah, um, I have been to the store with no spaces, then space, and then the words and, then, and, back, and back can be written okay. together with no spaces. That's because what I the word understood. Right, because the word store, it just it's just a word. There's no there's no special rule about I mean any um just it's just a word that's doesn't have any special signs in it and things like that that they've been talking about so 
and, and back no spaces, but you can't have, you can't link store and and together. No, and can only be linked to words that are after it, not okay. to words that are before it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Ralph. All right, that answers Ralph. my question because I, I didn't understand why you had the space before store. But oh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, the hypozuxis, I am, you are, she is. Would that be all uh, yeah, lowercase? Lower. Well, I, okay, I am. No, it depends on what you put after am. Because I am, if you, you are, she is. Right, but I mean, usually when they write that, don't they have a, con a comma or some? You wouldn't, you wouldn't just put that all in a sentence without any um, separation, right? There would be a comma. I am, you are, she is. Um, so, if you would write I am, comma, because it, you wouldn't have to have a space there because there's a punctuation. <gasps> oh. Okay. Um, and then you are comma with no spaces and then she is now um the word she also has a two cell contraction which you'll learn later but right now the way you know it is she is would write she space is period with no space because that word that lower linking sign has a punctuation after it so you don't have to space there does that make sense Yes, but why? Why would why would there be a space between she and is? I mean, I don't I don't understand that. Because because she because is can only be. Let's see. Let me. Um, is is cannot is can only represent is if preceded and followed by a cell. Uh, 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 anything now if you write she is with nothing after the is that that, that two five becomes a colon oh that oh, yeah. well, that de um that it, depends yes. on yeah oh, that if, depends on yeah, well, I could yeah. With a period. yeah if there was if there was punctuation after the word is then you could write you could write the middle c right. but if there's but, no yeah. punctuation <laughs> after it if there's a space after that then you have to then you cannot use the drop c because uh, that's that incorrect. Be... That's incorrect. That's incorrect, Bob. Because oh, it is? okay. <laughs> yeah, the rule says up here that you can use the drop C, but you cannot. You don't space. Be you don't space. Uh, you don't leave the spaces out unless there is a um, a punctuation at the end, which in this case there is. She is right. right. Um, and in okay. May not be, so lower linking signs may not begin or end a word sequence. Um, they may be, in, the, but they may be employed, however, when preceded or followed by a punctuation mark. So, in other words, uh, let me look at the example here. Um, is he? Let's see. Where, there's a, there's one that has one at the end. Hang on a second. Oh, like okay, who she was. He, uh, there's a, there's an example. He showed me who she was. Now, yes, in this case, they have the was written after the, the she without a space. So she, no space, was, no space, period. So in other words, she is, there would be, you're right, there would be that. Uh, that's why I okay. wanted to make, that's now, what I wanted now, to confirm. Now, Nancy, I have a question then. What if it, who she was, what if there was no period written after the word was? Then you could not have spaces there, unless there was could, an, unless if that was the end of a sequence. If there was no word after the word was, if there was no period after the word was, but you see, it would depend because if there's another word after the word was, then you could use it as a linking lower sign. She was such and such. Right. But if there's no, but if there's no, um, if there's if, no period if, or no, if there's no, no word, period and no right. Word, Okay. And if there's no so, period, and well, why would you ever have that? I'm not even sure, but just to, yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct about. about she that. was bringing me something. She was, right. was and, go, and you would was can go up see, to bringing. Right, you could put Nancy's was right because there's that. another word after that. Yeah, 
So well, she no. was, there wouldn't be, I don't think there would ever be a she was without a word or a punctuation after it. That's so true. I honestly, I honestly don't think there would ever be that. What about that she is, though, without a punctuation? That's what I just said. She yeah. is, she is, could be, because there's a punctuation there. Yeah, but if she, there isn't. Well, there would be another word. Yeah, what what, what Nancy's saying uh, is we're not we're not uh, going to find a case where there's either no punctuation or no word. Or no after. word. It's, it, yeah, it's right. always there's going to always be something following the verb to be. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, and that's it's if you're writing. Gonna... Your that's if you do writing correctly. That is. Yeah, that's <laughs> well, yeah. that's good. That's a, that's. But an that assumption. would that would be that would be why because there's no there's never going to yeah. be that that case so you're never going to have to worry about that because that would almost be like it, it's almost like disobeying a bunch of rules at the same time if you if you tried to add that because you wouldn't know what to do with it i mean yeah so this sentence that he showed me who she was that he i did the two cell the dot four low eight right and then a, a space then right because you have showed no because the two cell See, this is where you're going to get into into stuff they don't know yet. Two celled words don't space between. Okay, the word I after. didn't space initially, but I thought I was wrong. So he showed. Then he the showed. Me, me. So you got he he got he showed space right me space, and then who she was. That's all going to be two cells and all that. So that's all going to be written together. Um, but okay, the okay. way they know it, so that I'm not confusing anybody, the way they know it right now, it's he showed. He showed, he space showed space, me space, who space, she was, period, no space. And then we'll have to learn Actually, it again. <laughs> I can think of, I can think of a case where there would be no punctuation or no word after it. What if it's a title? <clears throat> it's well, a if title, it's a title. He showed me who she was. Nothing after the word was. <laughs> Then you would not you would not you would you would not leave the spaces out because it's at the end of a word sequence so it can't you can't have a lower sequence sign linking a lower sign at the end of a sequence so you'd have to space. Yeah. Okay. That's that's how. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh man. Okay. All right. Area code eight one six, Camilla. No. Uh, I had a question I missed last week, so this is probably a silly question, but in one of the sentences you had the words I and have, and if I understood correctly, you have them together without a space. Correct. Is that permitted? And what are the rules for that? Well, it, the word have, the words a and have can follow any, any word that they, that comes out without a space so i have a i have a guide dog so i have a can be all written without spaces between them and then space guide dog so it's um, only the words have an a have an a that's correct okay thank you sure all right jeanette so to be or not to be I have it as the sign for two space B or space not uh, to be that is the space question. Okay, let me let me okay, read, let I, me resequence this for you. What what Bob? Okay, I was going to comment on that. That's all. But. And I, I'd like to make a simple request. You guys, it's great that you know all the rules that we don't know yet, but it really does make it a whole lot more confusing. That's why I wasn't trying. That's why I was trying not to go there. <laughs> I know. And I would appreciate it if other people would follow your example. <laughs> yeah. So go um, ahead, Nancy. I'm okay. listening okay. to your sequencing. Okay. So, in other words, you can never leave the word to by itself, T-O. So that would have to go next to the word B, to be space, the I-N-G sign for the word or, 
space, huh. not space, and then to be um, would be again put together. Now I don't know if there's a punctuation after that after the word be in that quote or not to be or not to be. I'm assuming there would have to be um, some sort of punctuation there. So you'd put the punctuation nah. and then a space. Mm. And then that is the question is all together because the lower linking sign for is mm -hmm. can go between the words that and the, and of course the goes next to any word it comes in contact with. So does that make, does that make sense? The word two, you'd write it as oh, so it would have to be two space b space. No, 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 no. You never write t o without. You never write t o spacing that word. That's right, why. But in not, grade two, the two is two three five. I know. That's exactly. That's exactly what it is in grade three. Two b space. So, Okay, what's confusing? Space. Okay. Because to be, if you had the word, if you had the, if you had the cell blocks two, three, five with a space after it, that would be that would stand for the word bin because right. Um, but uh, oh, okay. To be space or space, not to be that is the there has question to be question altogether. No, 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 not you have to space between not and two. Because there's no, it's not. There's no special reason why you can leave spaces out there. To be, and then, I'm, like I said, I don't know what the punctuation there is in that quote, yeah. but you you'd have to have the punctuation there. Then that is the question. Can all be written together? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. Okay. I'm glad it does to you. Oh, so I am nice. so totally confused. Um. Anyway, I'm the, well, I'm you, the host. You know my number. You have my number. You can call me later if you need to. All <laughs> right, Mary. Okay. Um. So to be or so be being one of those linking verbs wouldn't need something attached to it on the other side like or. That's okay to be or not. Okay, hang on yeah. a second. You are right. Sorry <laughs> about that. Um, to be or not to be, comma, that is the question. So to be or, yeah, I guess it would have to be. Yeah, I. I that's not one of the examples they give in the book, but I mean, it, you know, but yeah, I think it would have to be linked to your right. So I stand corrected on that to be or space, not space to be whatever uh, semicolon or um, 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 period or whatever it is. Um, that is the question. I, I keep hearing my... <laughs> one of my high school English teachers saying, and these linking verbs are BM is, or was, were, been, being. <laughs> he just, <laughs> he said that over and over. So that's why I was asking about the B. No, you're right. It is, it is, it is, uh, that is correct. So tell us again how it would be to be or not to be. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, oh my I, I. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry oh my gosh <laughs> oh, to be or space not space to be punctuation space that is the question period no space okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so it wouldn't look like to being i mean i know that doesn't make sense but well, yeah, and that's what I, I know. That's what I thought too when I when I first looked at that. And you know, it, it, but um, oh. I, it, the only way it works with the the only way it works with the rules is to put, not put the space there. So, <laughs> but you you wouldn't. I don't think you would have a to being. No, I know written together like that. So probably you wouldn't. 
you you wouldn't uh especially if you saw that that the rest of the sentence oh yeah not to be <laughs> yeah all right camilla that was my question too i thought that if you put the or right behind the b it could be mistaken for being not with a word not with a two in front of it because i'm sorry yes you could because i'm used to being um i'm used to being on time right so mm -hmm. you could have to be then ah uh. You could, but mm -hmm. if you okay, but if you if you look at the rest of the sentence, you're not going to get yeah, those no, two I, I, I know. sequences yeah. confused. You, you know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. going to look like to. It's not going to look like being, um, to being not, to be. Wait, wait, that's not right. Okay, so you know it's, it must be or. That's the only thing. But if it's not clear, then you need to write it in a way that would be clear. Yeah. Um, if it's not clear, if you if you think that's unclear. Then you'd you'd need to um, put that space there. I so think all this confused. is subject to like judgment because like not all you, of it, but yeah, some of well, it. Well, I mean, yeah. going back, you know, when you say the context, okay, so they're telling us it, the words. Now this is going way back, but clam and calm you would have to write them out because of clarity. Well, they're not going to be confused. Mm, possibly. A calm shell and a clam shell? I don't think so. Well, maybe not in that in that particular well, I, um, instance, but um, yeah. Um, a calm clam. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I don't. This is, I, I, yeah, this is just. Yeah. Well, wow. that's why there's no banner rules concerning grade three braille because a, a lot of it is see. personal but i think you know one of the things i know it's very confusing and i know when i learned grade three even as well as nemesis uh i had a book to read and rather than remembering rules i just remembered how it looked when i read it and i yeah. deduced the rules from that and I, I really strongly advise that people could get hard copies of of, of one of the grade three books <laughs> And just read read it. The rules will become will come more naturally because you would have seen it written before. Well, if you want to know the truth, that's the way I feel about grade two. I don't necessarily know all the rules. I just know how it's supposed to look. And I think exactly. that's, that's yeah, why that's I'm good. having such a hard time with UEB. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah exactly. because I mean, you, know, we, to, you have we, to know we, the rules of Braille to, to get it, it to it, learn another rule. Yeah, Braille, you know. But, code. but a lot of times we don't remember the rules per se. Right. We remember how it looked. Yes. Yes. That's it. It's like any. It's like teaching anything. I think grammar of English. I, I teach English sometimes, and students will ask me, "What's the rule?" I'm thinking, "I don't know that rule. I just know that's how it is, and that's that sounds right, and that's you know." But to get into all the formal rules, I know we have to. But I think the whole idea of reading and reading the books is really spot on for us to do and 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 it's going to come it's going to flow i was reading the the book of the, the the book by ruth hayden this evening and it wasn't flowing at all i was saying what is this and what is this and i kept going over and over stuff but i thought that, that i've got to just keep reading the story the story about yeah the i love that book i love that book. the osborne story so mm -hmm. i like I those little stories my copies of those books i need to get new copies of <laughs> sure. uh, yeah, I like those little stories that are in the, that book. I think they're very helpful. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's so, I mean, and, and the exercises they have, I don't know how you guys want to do these, but the, the exercises they have are sentences. Like number one says, the Washington Monument is one of the sites to be seen in our capital. So you would have to write that whole thing in grade three. It shows it in grade yeah. two. And you have to write it in grade three. I don't know, <laughs> you know, how, how we'd want to tackle those. I'd like to make a suggestion for, yeah, go ahead. Cause these, yeah. these are great yeah. sentences. And I, the way I do them when I'm, when I'm not teaching this is I'm writing it down. And when I think Bob said last week about whoever has a note taker or even a Perkins or a slate, whatever that, you know, every, um, whoever is learning, I know you're, you're all trying to learn the, the, the rules and the stuff, but have a, a scrap paper 
so that we could, I'd like, I have a cool sentence I, I'm going to do for when, when we learn a couple of the new contractions, because I don't want to do it if we don't know the contractions, I, I want to do it correctly. Yeah. But, but if we, if, if we dictate some sentences, please, everybody tell us what you think, or Bob, Nancy, what you think, Lucy, because I think we, if we dictate, then people will have a chance to really write and read. It's like learning other Braille. If you write it and then you read back your own work. Um, I think it'll be more, it'll be a lot of fun. And, so, you know, that, that's not my thought. Well, okay, here's my suggestion then, since we, I don't know how much, how much time do we have? We have 10 minutes, nine minutes. We have nine minutes. Here's my suggestion, yeah. Audrey, and I don't know if you, my suggestion is that, okay, if I were teaching this class, just because of where we got, if I were going to do next week, I would just do the, the sentences that are in exercise 17 for next okay. week instead of going on to new signs because yeah, people well, are I, having issues and questions and things like that's what i would do but of course that's i not like my, that idea i, I would like not, to do that since it's my okay. class next week if everyone is is everybody in agreement are the if somebody isn't in agreement <coughs> could you raise your hand and tell us and say no we want to go ahead <coughs> but what we we would like to do and next week i nancy's going to dictate oh, this stuff to me <laughs> so that i have it <laughs> Oh yeah, I can. Excuse me. Why don't you dic dictate three or four sentences now <laughs> for us to work on, and then continue with sentences next week? Okay. What do you, you can think, do Nancy? that? I, can I just do shouldn't that. answer for you, Nancy. I'm sorry. No, I can. I can do that if you want to. If you want a few sentences to work on, I can give you a few, and then I can give Audrey the rest of them, and and we can we can you guys can work on them next week. That way it's it's not putting so much on and they have a chance to look at some of these lower signs because yeah, it's going to give lots of examples you've got time to really play with this stuff yeah exactly okay so sentence number one is the, okay uh is anyone let me tell people are ready to take down or record or however you want to do this So written in grade two, of course, this sentence is all in grade two, and you're going to put it in grade three. Mm -hmm. The Washington Monument is one of the sites to be seen in our capital, period. Okay. That's number one. Okay, I'm just I'm just hanging out for a second, making sure everybody can catch up. Number two. Do you know why it is? Question mark. Do you know why it is? Mm -hmm. And these are all going to be about the. The, the monument obviously that they have to pick oh, a topic okay. and just do a bunch of sentences on it yeah, yeah. so s sentence number three there are many visitors on the scene every day period okay sentence number four is a 17 hyphen second elevator oh see, 70 i'm sorry 70 like 70 second oh. a 70 hyphen second elevator ride elevator ride can be taken to the top period And how about I give one more? One more, so we have five. That's good. Okay. So number five, uh, those who are strong enough to walk down can view 190 Carved stones set in the wall, period. 
What was that word before stones? Carved, C-A-R-V-E-D. Oh, carved. And is it 190 in numbers or words? That that is a that's a number. That's okay. Set in. Wow. The seventy second velevator ride. That was that was a word, but word. Okay. One ninety is a number. Okay. And what's the word? What set in? What set in? Okay. Carved stone. One hundred ninety carved stones set in the wall. Okay. Thank you. Okay. A the the back to the elevator sentence. A is it a seven zero dash second? No, it's oh. it's it's the word seventy. S e v e n t y. Why? Oh, I've seen it written like that. Seventy second. Seventy second. Seventy second elevator ride. Yep, a oh. seventy second elevator ride can be taken to the top. Okay. Yeah. Elevator ride can be taken. Gotcha. So, yep, that's, and then I'll give Audrey the rest of the sentences. That way you guys can, because I, I just think that would be a lot easier to, to go through those. Um, yeah, I do with, too. Yeah. All so, right, Kathy has a question. All right. <clears throat> Kathy. Mm -hmm. Okay, just checking. Um, could you please repeat sec uh, blah, 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 sec sentence? I can talk sentence two. <laughs> I missed it. Thank you. Do you do you know why it is? Question mark. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's the shortest sentence in the whole. Uh, I know, right? In the whole group, right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, Kathy, you just raised your hand again. Don't. There. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Cynthia? Um, could you do the first sentence again? <laughs> yes, and I need to get the book because it's a I long sentence. The, I think I, I lost the end of it somewhere. Yeah, it's a long sentence. Okay, the Washington Monument mm -hmm. is one of the sites to be seen in our capital. Oh, in our capital. Yeah, in our capital. I missed the last three words. Understand that, yep. Okay. All right. You got two minutes. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we, 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 this, we had this, this hour just flew by. It wow. did, it was fast. It just went... Okay, so if anybody has got anything that they want to contact, I will not be here next week, but you can still um, email me and I will, I can still have time to get back to make time to get back to you. If you have any questions, um, T is in Tom, H is in Harry, E is in Elephant, S is in Sam, O is in Oscar, N is in Nancy, G is in George, M is in Mary, A is in Alpha, G is in George, E is in Elephant, at yahoo.com is my email address so if you need more explanation or more uh you know uh, numbers and of course if you if you need to email Kristen for anything hers is braille mailbox at gmail.com and of course don't forget about the youtube channel grade three the number three braille and you can find that on youtube and hear these lessons as many times as you need to all so right. It's so cool to be going there. Nancy, do you give your phone number or do you not give it on, on here? No. Um, can't I do that. not do that. Don't no. do that. No. Okay, fine. I will no. I will contribute email you know, UPS. Yeah, I mean and, and you anybody who wants can ask me for it. And if I you know, if I Right, I guess you want Yeah. But I mean I can't give it here. No. I wish yeah. I could, okay. but <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, are we are we are we square? I guess we're done. I guess we're okay. done, guys, if there's no other housekeeping or no other thing we have to go through but good luck next week uh, um, i'll be with you guys in spirit and of course um audrey i'll be waiting to hear from you great i'm going to email right. you right now uh, can we stay on and do this or do we have to get off when you get off lucy we have to get off right uh yeah we do have to get okay, off okay we'll get off 
Okay. Okay. I know I'm pushing the envelope a lot today. (laughs) (laughs) That's all right. I like to do that too. (laughs) Okay. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Bye.